This is the Growatt portable power station, specifically the Helios 3600 Bio model. Looking at it right now, you're met with a really impressive, almost boxy design, rugged black finish, and sturdy construction. When I first unboxed it, honestly, the initial size and weight caught me off guard. It's not your average small battery pack for phones and laptops. This is a true home backup system on wheels, and it feels like bringing a chunk of the power grid right into your living room. If you're new to portable power stations and aren't sure what all those numbers mean, I'll try to break down everything in simple terms based on my experience. The Helios 3600 gives you roughly 686 watt-hours of storage out of the box, which is basically how much energy it can hold. In real life, that means you can run most home essentials during a power outage, fridges, a microwave, lights, and even power tools if you need. If emergencies worry you, or you spend time arving, camping, or just want to be ready for surprises like power cuts, this battery brings a lot of peace of mind. One thing that I found especially cool is the option to expand. From my experience, you can get extra battery units to link together. With those, you're looking at a total storage capacity much higher, up to 36 kilowatt hours if you go all in with multiple units and accessories. If you just have the main power station, you're already close to 4 kilowatt hours, but the expandability makes it perfect for people who want to take things further and run their entire house. I haven't needed that much, but knowing the system can grow with you is a reassuring bonus. Now about outputs. I didn't know what to expect at first, but once I started plugging different things in, it's clear the Growatt Helios was made to cover almost everything. You get the usual USB Type-A and USB-C ports, and the USB-C as are rated all the way up to 100 watts each. So if you've got a laptop or a phone that needs a fast charge, it'll take care of it. You've also got typical household outlets, 120 volts, which is what most appliances in the US use. There is also a 240 volt outlet for heavier devices, and an RV port, which I found particularly useful when testing it out for a small camping weekend. Even better, the DC ports let you run things like car fridges or small fans directly. When it comes to charging the unit itself, I love the flexibility. In my opinion, the key feature is the ability to charge from pretty much any source I could think of. Wall AC, solar panels, even a car outlet or vehicle alternator. The solar input uses a typical XT60 connector, and I had a bit of an adventure figuring out how many solar panels I could use at once. The manual says the XT60 solar input maxes at 60 volts, but I checked with Growatt support, and it turns out the circuits were built to handle up to 150 volts. That means you can run several panels in series, making it possible to charge super fast on sunny days. I set up four 405 watt panels in series, and although they were at an angle and not at peak output, I still saw solid input numbers. When charging using multiple sources, say, solar panels plus plugging into the wall, the unit will prioritize solar first, then car Anderson port, then wall ACK. It's a smart way to make sure you're always using the cleanest, cheapest energy available. If you want even more control, there's an app, Migro, which lets you set power strategies like quiet charging or time of use modes, too. The quiet mode is actually great. It runs the fans slower and limits the power draw so you don't wake up everyone in the middle of the night. For anyone worried about noise, I think this is a welcome touch. The interface is really intuitive, which made my first run with it less intimidating. The built-in screen shows how much power is coming in, how much is going out, the remaining battery percentage, and individual icons for each charging source. It lights up automatically, but dims so it won't be a distraction at night. Most of the ports are clearly labeled, and plugging them in is just as easy as using an extension cord or plugging a device into the wall at home. I do want to talk about the weight. At about 99 pounds, this portable power station isn't the kind of thing you're lifting by yourself for fun. Thankfully, it comes with a telescoping handle and good size wheels so you can roll it like a heavy suitcase. On grass or gravel it managed just fine, but stairs will always be a challenge. If you're planning to move it around a lot, just be ready to team up with a friend or two. I've also tested the emergency power feature, which means if the grid goes down, this station can switch over to power your stuff in less than 20 milliseconds. Basically, fast enough that your fridge or desktop computer won't even notice a blip. In my opinion, that's a lifesaver for anyone who works from home or can't afford to lose power to sensitive devices. From my experience, the expandable battery design adds another level of flexibility. If you buy the extra battery, you can use some of its ports independently, helpful when you want to keep a fridge or lights running off to the side. There's a lot of DC and USB flexibility on both the main and expansion unit. 
they just connect with clear cables and auto-detect each other. One weird thing I found. The expansion battery has its own XT60 port, which made me think it could be charged directly from solar. Turns out, you shouldn't use it for that unless you have the exact voltage needed, or you might run into issues. So, all charging for the extra battery should go through the main power station. That's something I had to learn the hard way, so keep it in mind if you're considering expanding the system. The Helios 3600 stands out by using life before battery tech, which is basically a fancy way of saying long battery life and safer performance. The manufacturer promises up to 10 years under normal use, and I haven't seen any weird heat issues or random drop-offs in battery percentage, which can happen with cheaper batteries. Plus, there's a cold start feature, so if you keep this unit in a garage or shed and temperatures dip below freezing, it'll still work reliably. I haven't tested it in a snowstorm yet, but stories online back this up. I'd recommend this for just about anyone who wants serious backup power that can grow with them. Whether you want it for your house, RV trips, tailgates, or emergencies, it covers a lot of ground. If you're new to this type of tech, don't be scared off by the feature list. Setup is straightforward, just plug in, check the app if you want those smart power settings, and you're good to go. Maintenance is simple too, keep it clean, and don't block the fan vents. In conclusion, the Growatt Portable Power Station Helios 3600 Badu is not a small gadget, but a substantial, reliable energy backup. It's perfect for home emergencies, off-grid living, or running the essentials during camping trips. The high-capacity, rapid charging options, and user-friendly controls give you a lot of freedom. If carrying nearly 100 pounds doesn't bother you, and your priority is dependable power with flexibility to upgrade, in my opinion, this is an outstanding choice. You can find detailed information about the Growout Portable Power Station in the comments section. See you in the next video.